Hey everyone, welcome to a new series on the channel. We are playing Black Sod Under the Skin. Before I go into any more detail, if you're new here, my name is Papexor and I'm from Finland. I like to play pretty much every kind of game as a let's play format. At the moment I'm playing like these older games that I've missed and some newer, kinda newer, like this game for example, this is kinda new. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, you're welcome to join me on this journey. Be sure to check out the other playthroughs as well, if there's something fits for you. So yeah, <clears throat> Black Sword Under the Skin. I, I can summarize what I know about this game in pretty much like three words. Animals, detective and narrative. What I'm expecting is like kind of like Telltale games. Heavily narrative based. Maybe impactful decisions, not sure, or at least the illusion of decisions. <clears throat> That's pretty much what I expect. I know that this game is based on a Spanish comic book. I've never read it, but I do know that. But yeah, other than that, that's all I know about the game and what I expect from it. I expect a nice detective style story. Kind of like I played a while ago this game called Backbone. It was 2D pixel game. If, you, if you've heard of that game, I kind of expect the same but in 3D format. Maybe some puzzles, I don't know. I guess we'll see. And sorry about the lack of music at the intro, but the music in the menu was pretty loud. So let's hop onto it. That's actually a grim start. Oh, the game starts, all right. Some 60s vibes, or even 40s. Okay. There we go, there is the scream. Uh, this interactive drama uses similar controls to other games of its genre. You still want to enable the tutorial. I mean, sure, no harm in that. Oh yeah, also I think our main character is an angry cat, <laughs> based, on the, based on that picture. Okay, let's see. Until the right is no longer visible. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cool, that was like good and cool at the same time. <laughs> There's the angry cat again. Multiple loading icons. Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn detective? Yeah, uh, your black said interesting. I'm gonna check if there are subtitles before we go any further. There's Oh, there we go. Subtitles. All right. Let's continue. 
What is this? I just have to check this out real quick. Oh, here you can see your behavioral stats. That is, the decision, decisions you've made in Black Sad's shoes. Your acts and choices define Black Sad's character. The lower bar shows how profitable the investigation is turning out for you. Swift, clumsy, astute, obtuse. Cool. Okay. Interesting. That's kind of neat. But now, yeah, let's continue. I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? When talking with other characters, you get to choose both your questions and answers. In some conversations, you, you can take all the time you need. In others, you will have to think quickly and reply before your time is up. In these occasions, you can also choose to stay silent. Right. Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but... You've been spying on me! You took pictures of me with a lady! <laughs> Well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? I'm gonna kill- Oh, hello. Every now and then you will have to act swiftly and use left stick to move the direction of the arrow. Stay alert. You may have a very short window of time to move before it's too late. Gotcha. You! <laughs> Certain moments during the game you will need to Quickly press the indicated button to perform specific actions. Sometimes you will have to keep on pressing the button until the circle, circle around it is completed. Give me the goddamn pictures! <laughs> okay, and decisions. <clears throat> Throughout the game you will have to make decisions. Some of them will have minor consequences, like choosing whether to throw a punch or strike with a headbutt. Okay. So minor decisions, gotcha. But be careful, some decisions will be more transcendental and have a major impact down the line. In some cases, you will have all the time you need to make a decision. Sometimes you will be forced to make up your time before the time is up. Weird. It wasn't the first time I regretted a guy like him. <laughs> Oh, well, at least I bought enough time to aim at his soft spots. Oh, blood. Oh, hell no. Oh, man. You broke my jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please. Um, you're the one who cheated. I don't enjoy meddling in others' affairs, but it's my job, and I've got bills to pay. You're the one cheating on your wife, buddy. This is on you. Yeah, hey, buddy. I'm no two-timer, I swear. It only happened once, for God's sake. I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me. I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Okay, what's happening? Notebook notifications. The most important information you find during the investigation will be recorded in your detective notebook. When a new entry is included, a notification will pop up. Okay, this is actually a good time to cheat and check out those <laughs> pop-ups. You broke your family, not me. It's my job. It's just not right. Let's go with that. That just wouldn't be ethical, would it? If I hide the truth, I deny her freedom of will, her right to choose. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures and tell her a white lie and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save Ooh. my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. No deal. You're only making things worse. 
You better leave before I lose it. Look, partner, I've been asking about you. You're a good detective, but I know you've seen better days. You've had nothing but crappy cases lately, like this one. I'm offering you a way out. Money can go a long way, you know. You could try running some ads. Maybe you'll find better clients and well-paid gigs. You know, start all over? Come on, think about it. You can save my family and save yourself. I said, no deal. I warned you. Okay, now I'm officially about to lose my cool. Three. You chose to put the marriage at risk instead of taking the bribe. When you make a decision that has a major influence on the course of events, a notification will pop up. Okay, what kind of major event influence that, that's going to have? You son of a... Two. Wait, man, don't shoot. One. You are going to regret messing with Eugene Colbert. I swear to God you will. Eugene Colbert. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, the feeling that my moral compass was far too calibrated for my own good. Oh, what now? Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. Uh, he's a nice guy. You'll, uh... Yeah, nope. <sighs> you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? Doesn't even know you, and he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jake's, Jake's right, of course. That's me to a T. Please, have a seat. Shut up and listen, buddy. All right? I brought you a client. Ooh. Is she the one from the intro? John Blacksod. I wonder if there's like any free movement in this game. Some actor has been murdered. That's what the paper said. I wonder what's this about. If this is the same person from the intro, then it's probably about the body hanging from the ceiling. And that's why we need to find him soon, or we, we will have a very serious problem. Hmm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. Hotspots. D-pad to navigate through the different hotspots. Use A to select the hotspot you want to interact with. Okay. So there's, there's dog. And uh, I'm, I was gonna say tiger, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe lynx and orangutan, who seems like a big shot. And Madison Square Garden, 15 rounds. Oh, they are boxers. Okay. Grinding Stone. Raging Dog Yal or Yale. Probably Yale. Okay. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym oh. owner, hanged himself two days ago. It's the same person. Yes. Dunn died on Sunday evening. Okay, so the writing dog is her father? Bobby Yale, a okay, boxer no. at Dunn's gym has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared 
two days ago, right about the same time your father died. Yes. In short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Oh. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Mm. Let's start with politely. I'm really sorry, Miss Dunn. <clears throat> Please accept my condolences. Thank you. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Um... Sure, but it won't be cheap. I will. But we're talking about Madison Square Garden. The stakes are high, which can only mean things will get ugly behind the scenes. Not to mention pricey. Yes, Mr. Blacksad. If you find Yale and he fights, I'll be able to pay you whatever you ask for. Hey. Interesting. I kind of like those notifications. The upper corner. Because I chose the option to speak about money first because this dude's got to eat. I mean, if he's not doing so well on job-wise, gotta get some cat food or whatever they eat. Is that a polar, polar bear? Oh, that's a crocodile or alligator. It's definitely giving me some backbone vibes. Smooth little jazz music. But this is definitely 40s. The cars remind me of Mafia games, so that's where I'm pulling this for this. I know you already went to Yale's apartment and found nothing, <clears throat> but I'll search it myself at some point. Okay. That cleaning lady, Mariam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body, she works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, and see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. All right, free movement. Exploration. Oh, we can move camera as well. Interesting. Okay, hotspots. Is that done? Wow. And we can explore. Zoom. Exit the detail shot of the selected hotspot. All right. Okay, notebook. Once the notebook is opened, you can go through all the notes you have taken during the investigation. Select the character whose information you want to see in order to go to the corresponding section. The help bar in the lower part of the screen shows all controls and their function. Use the controller to navigate through the notebook. Right. Oh, we can check around here as well. Index. Eugene Colbert. Okay, we have to zoom. Unfaithful to wife, offered bribe. Nope. Oh, it went away from there. A deduction screen. Hmm. You cannot make any deductions right now. First, you need to gather enough clues. Oh, that's cool. 
Okay, so there's a whole lot more to this game than the Telltale series. I'm all in. Menu. From the main menu, you can access the Hall of Fame album. Load a game to continue where you left off. Check your stats in your black sad. Change settings in options. Discover the team behind the game in credits and quit the game whenever you wish to. Right, simple enough. <clears throat> and now we can continue. Okay, let's explore the painting. Okay. So no more hotspots here. Sure. Jake Ostiombe. Old friend. Sonia Dan. Dan's daughter, Sonia Dan hired me to find Bobby Yale. Joe Dan. Dead owner of Dan's gym, time of death, Sunday evening, gym closed. Sax player. Bobby Yale. Promising boxer at Dan's gym, when is the same day that Dan died? That's actually kind of suspicious. Dan's gym will have to close if he doesn't. White reigning champion, Stone, Madison Square Garden. And I guess that's his address, Old Stanford Street. Al Stone. Who's this? Reigning champion, fight us. Oh, fight versus Yale at Madison Square Garden in 17 days. Mary Purnell, a waitress. Cleans gym, found Dan's body. Works at Sam's Diner, same street as Jim. Alright. <clears throat> okay, there's something here. I remember that fight. Back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Jake, young talent in boxing. Nice. What's this here? Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yale each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. <clears throat> okay, some teenage runaway, and I guess Sonia and Bobby have been friends in childhood. Okay, we can't explore the office. Uh, I better leave these two alone. Fair enough. Let's check the upstairs first. Oh, it actually went to the roof. Okay. Well, let's check the roof. During the investigation, you will find Hall of Fame sports cars. Keep in mind that it's you, not Blacksad, who finds these cars. And that the collection is not relevant to the storyline. Leave no stone unturned. Cards could be hidden anywhere. Find them all to complete your Hall of Fame collection. When you find a new card from the Hall of Fame collection, you can choose to open the album and see how the card is placed in its slot, or you can continue to play. You can also access the album from the main menu at any time. <clears throat> Guillermo Quesada. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, that's the same text. Oh, there was something different. Oh, okay. So it goes like this. Oh, there's stuff behind them. Okay. Guillermo Quesada. Boxing. Mexico. From Mexico. On a trip through Mexico, Don Egbert was soon fascinated by a kid who fought on the streets in exchange for some spare chains. He had no technique, no style, no elegance, but what a sight he was. Only two years later, he turned him into a welterweight champion, a title that Quesada would revalidate three times. His career was cut short when Hothead Cascon completely disfigured him after losing about by points. He disappeared from the limelight for the next 20 years, but was reborn to stardom by becoming El Espectro, the masked fighter that revolutionized Mexican freestyle wrestling during the 40s. 1940s. Cool. 
I guess there's like different sports where you can find cards in. Since that mentioned boxing as one. And we go up there. No? Right, fair enough. Oh, there's a chilling place. Champies chocolate. And then more secret. Energy of champions. Right? What about the flower? Hmm. Oh, hello. <coughs> There's an empty wine glass here, and a full one, so we can't explore it further, that's what you're telling me. Okay, anyway, that's kinda... I figured that's relevant to the case here. Trash. Oh, hello. August Merrick. Hockey player. The first great center in history and perhaps the best until Nate Erickson stole his crown. Eric was also a national hero, always ready to take the stick, trade the stick for a rifle to defend his country with courage and selflessness. He was one of the first soldiers to see combat on the French battlefront in 1917, and one of the last to return from Borneo in 1945. Both before and after the wars, he won three Tremblay Cups with the Boston Green Tails and nine Niber Trophies. During a game in 1947, for reasons that remain unknown, he pulled out a gun, shot down two opponents and then took his own life. Jeez! That turned dark. So I, I think this is actually based on the real world, but instead of people, there are animals. Wait, what? Is this a part of a card? Yeah, that's not completed. <laughs> that's just lower corner. Okay, interesting. So we didn't find anything worthwhile from the room, besides the cars. I guess it's time to explore the gym. Oh, suitcase. Surely there's something there. What? Is that the baseball player? Yeah, yeah it is. I bet frogs would be awesome and running to bases and all that. Where did my sweet jazz music go? Harder you train, the luckier you get. Words to live by. There's the music. I wonder if you can like save those cards and see the whole progress later. No pain, no gain. Jimmy Cohen versus Sonny Dempsey. Okay. Different kind of matches. No guts, no glory. Oh, there's a phone we can use. Uh, Rhinosaurus wife. Sure. Is this like solving the case? Like telling her, yeah, he cheats. Hello? Black Sad here. Please don't tell me, my husband. Yes, Mrs. Colbert. 
I'm afraid you were right to hire me. You were true to your word and told Colbert's wife the truth. Right? What is weekly? <clears throat> weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn, huh? Uh... No, Weekly. Look, the rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, exactly. Yada, yada. Okay, let's, let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard something weird's going on at this gym. What was the name? Dunn's gym. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. Hmm, not now. Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. But, you're putting me on the spot here. Let me settle into things before you do anything, will you? Alright, but make it quick. See ya. A weekly hopes you'll give him inside scoop about the gym. Okay, let's call to the Smirnov police officer. Was it Smirnov? Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. You got me. <clears throat> How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Um, his daughter hired me. Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? Um, Bobiel disappeared on the same day. Yeah, let's cooperate with police. His unless people, it is the Bobby police. Yale. No one's seen him since Dunn hanged himself. Well, his coach killed himself a few weeks before his big fight. Must be drowning <clears throat> his bad luck in booze in some gutter somewhere. So, are you gonna help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But, if you do find something, give me a call. For old time's sakes. We've been friends for a long time. And you think this is what two friends talk about on the phone? Good to hear from you, John. Take care. <laughs> that didn't work. Just found myself wondering, whenever John, John was talking to the friend, friends, what animal is that person? But I guess that's normal, normal thing to wonder. To the nature of this game, now where does this lead? Back lot. What's in here? Let your conscience be your guide. More bonds. Oh, hello. Good morning, sir. Hi, sir. Good morning to you. Conductor. John Blackside, Private Eye. Would you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Not at all. Proceed, your honor. Mm, oh, that... I bet he's blind. Were you so let's not ask Sunday the other one. Yes, indeed, kind <clears> prince. <throat> I came down to watch TV after having run the New York City Marathon in record time. <coughs> Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Well, just like life, that was short. <laughs> but then again, all things short fit me like a sock. <laughs> but it just so happens that you can. 
apple of my eye. Do this old man a favor and bring him some sustenance. <laughs> All right. Interesting. What do you have here? Book. Discourse on inequality. Oh, that's blurry. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. What's there to hmm about? What do we have back here? I might just be the last person in New York without a TV. I should buy one. If I had only taken that rhino's money. <laughs> oh well. You have to earn the TV. Fair and square, my friend. I feel like I'm I'm kind I'm kind of bad detective leaving the crime scene. <laughs> Exploring all the other random places. of trash. I guess this leads to the main street. Yeah. Okay, there's the gym. Is there like a sprint option here? No. Mary Purnell. The person who found Dunn's body works a block away from the gym. I'm certain she can give me the kind of information that I... Hey! Watch where you're going, you jerk! You looking for trouble, moron? Sorry. Sorry. Really, I'm sorry. You better be, you wuss! Oh, that's rude. To be fair, it was kind of... Black ah. fault. Walking deep in his thoughts. Really, I mean, should I go back and explore the gym? I think like that's something I really should do. Oh well, I guess it's it's a little late for that. You usually inspect the crime scene first. I guess this is why Black Sad doesn't have that many cases. And there you go. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Come back soon. Welcome to Sam's Diner. What can I get for you? Black Sad, Private Eye. I work for Sonia Dunn. I need to ask you some questions about Joe Dunn. Um, sure. But I'm working right now. <laughs> Maybe later? I don't see any customers. I only see one customer sitting at the counter. And he's asking for your cooperation. All right. <clears throat> okay, now there's no timer. Um, what can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? I barely know her, but she looks like a smart girl, poor thing. Mary Parnell hardly knows Sonia. Okay. Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How... how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I... I barely know him. Barely knows Yale. What do you think about Jake Ostiambi? Who? Who's that? A big gorilla. Boxer, too. A friend of Joe Dunn's. Oh, yeah. I barely know him. I don't like how he looks at me. Oh. Mm, how about your job? Can I ask you about your job? Uh, which one? Mm, let's start with the diner. Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. How, about the how gym? long have you worked at the gym? 
It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. I'm sorry. Do you Other work anywhere the else? In the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. Um, hmm. Hmm. This is a tough one. I mean... Oh, wow. I wonder how, like, impactful this, this is. Oh, well. Should I just, like, in the future, let me know in the comments, should I just go with my first instinct? Or should I, like... I try to not ponder too much, but sometimes it just happens when there, there is no timer. Yeah, I wouldn't quit if I were you. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me, it might be painful at first, but time yeah. heals all yeah. wounds. Joey used to say the same thing. Maybe. Clue notifications. All collected clues will be stored in Black Sad's mind. When you find a new clue, a notification will pop up. Once you have enough clues, you will be able to piece them together to make crucial deductions that will help you advance in the investigations. Oh, miracles done, Joey. So I chose, chose to write. Thanks. Yes. Okay, uh, Joe Dunn. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. Mm. Okay, you, you, let's start actually, what kind of boss was What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time, never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned <clears> the gym. <throat> cool. Uh, how was he outside the gym? How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. Well, that's outside the gym. I think everyone liked him. Okay, now the bad stuff. You found the body. Do you remember, like, anything else you could give me? Like, any info? Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy <coughs> morning. And then I saw him, hanging there, like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. Oh, when he that, calmed down, I called scream. the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. Hmm... It was a widower? Maybe it has to be money issues. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna explore every option here. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was wow. a long time ago. I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. Well, you were helpful. Okay, let's get a hamburger. This probably goes to the bum behind the gym. Can I have a hamburger, please? Oh, sorry. Hold oh, on. sure. Regular or cheese? Oh, wow. Decisions. Uh, regular. Regular. That'll do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want fries? A drink? No, that's it. Okay. Is that for here or to go, then? To go, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're definitely giving this to the goat. One burger to go, Sam. Okay. Okay. That was like, okay. With what cat senses? Next to the icon of each cat sense, hearing, sight, and smell, Counter will show the number of stimuli that can be perceived in that particular moment. 
the help bar in the lower part of the screen shows related controls and their function. Interesting. Okay, so... This is kind of cool. This reminds me of... Can't remember what game, but some game had similar mechanics. I think it was Sherlock Holmes. Also, it seems that I'm blocking some stuff behind me, so in the future, I might throw myself up there. There. So you guys can see all the stuff behind me. What else? Okay, can we read that? One the hamburger. handwriting is nice and neat. Mary has a nice and neat handwriting. New clue, nice. Um, her eye, okay. They look puffy and tired, <clears throat> sleepless nights, hectic days, or has she been crying? Perhaps all of the above. Yeah, she definitely was involved, involved with the John, John person. Okay, nose. Oh, nose is wiggling. That's funny. Smells like cinnamon. No, cinnamon and burgers. Cinnamon burger. Wait, is that all? I think there thought there were two, two options. Oh, some darts. Your burger is ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, I'll let you enjoy your meal. Four people used the back door that very same night. Huh? What? Well, I might be blind as a bat, but as you can certainly see, I have two wonderfully functional ears. <laughs> very kind of you. Shame it didn't have any cheese, though. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Four people used the back door two days ago? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, what about the first person? What can you tell me? Who was the first person to use the back door? Someone big. Unlocked the door, stepped inside, <laughs> then came right back out. Someone stood at the door. How about the second person? Who was the second person to use the back door? A man. Just a few minutes after the first person. He came back out muttering, ungrateful bastard then he threw something in the trash and walked back in oh no wait before that he gave me a coin a coin i mean do i look like i need spare change huh i mean i'm staying at the million star hotel for god's sake <laughs> Dumpster behind the gym. Okay. How about the third person? What can you tell me about Who them? Who was the third person to use the back door? Judging by the quiet footsteps, I'd say it was someone small. I'd say it was about 30 minutes after the second person came out. Whoever it was threw something in the <clears> trash <throat> and stood in front of me for a moment. And then I heard a click. And finally, I heard trailing laughter in that direction. Who was the fourth person to use the back door? Someone big. I recall heavy breathing. The person left in a hurry, running in that direction. Interesting. Um, 
Oh, what's the cat? That's right. Oh. Okay, let's see. Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Okay. What else can we discover? I wonder what it feels like to live without legs. Would I manage? Could he have been a train conductor? Quite possibly. Where's the last one? Looks like someone used it as a punching ball. Okay, it was that again? We're missing something. Blind and legless. How does he get by? Yes, that unlocks like something new. Okay, there we go. A paint can. Where did you get that paint can? In the trash can in the back. I found it right after the comings and goings. I wanted to see what those people were leaving behind. How did you find it? There's a chest expander in your cart. A what expander? A thingamajig with three springs. Oh, the thingamajig with springs. Oh, I, I got it from the trash back there. A paint can and a thingamajig with springs. What a night. I bet. It used to you seem saner than before. Is it because of the hamburger? You were acting a bit strange before, but now you seem fine. Why is that? Hey, you got great vision, sense of smell, and hearing. Why is that? Well, I'm a cat. Well, wow. I'm a goat. <clears throat> okay. Thanks. That's all for now. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Is there anything we can discover from the trash now? No? Alright, let's go back indoors. Time to explore the crime scene. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the first episode here. So far, pretty interesting stuff. I really like the whole detective gameplay system that this game has. Adds more to it, even though I do like Telltale games style games really much but there's really nothing else to them just quick time events and illusion of choice and all that but this this does have have like detective style elements and can't wait to see how the like the deductions go and can you like fail cases hopefully i'm not gonna fail though that would be <laughs> That would be bad, but interested to see how that turns out. So yeah, if you enjoyed this first episode, be sure to check out rest of the series coming out every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. 10 p.m. GMT plus two. So yeah, I was I had fun this hour, and hopefully you also have. And I'll see you in the next episode when we explore the crime scene, a.k.a. Jim.